We are back at the house for another day of finding flea market things. It's a little chilly outside. We're going to be working in the attic, but hopefully moving around will get us nice and warm. So we're going to finish up the attic. I think work in some of these rooms, get stuff out of the closets, the little knickknacks and tchotchkes that I love. So yeah, it should be another fun day. Like, look at this cute little Easter egg. Oh, I love those things. Vintage ceramics make me happy, but yeah. So enough chitter chatter. Let's just get to work. You can't see our... Oh, I don't know what's up there. I um, can't see our breath just yet. <laughs> uh, so we have this. We have to empty. Um, a lot of shoes. The tricky thing with these shoes is that what is on the box is not what is inside. Um, so it's like a surprise every time you open a box. Lots of linens, which do really well um, at the flea market. And then, yeah, more clothing. I guess if I get really cold, I can just add... Ooh, what's this? I can just add some... Uh, ooh, Eddie Bauer. I can just add a layer or two. <laughs> All right. Let's get to work. So flea market. Yes? Yeah. Okay. I don't know if that dresser opens or that chest. I don't know if you got it open. No. It's still locked. It's interesting. Oh, it's a lane. A lane cedar chest. For that, I couldn't get that drawer back in. Oh. So you probably just left it like that, just how it was. The drawer, yeah. yeah so left it. Ooh, ghost. They probably didn't even touch it. I don't know if they've been up here. No, yeah, I pulled that drawer out and then I couldn't get it back in. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if any of these keys now. Yeah, it's odd. That's the only one that doesn't have. It's heavy. Oh my god. Like I can't. Ooh. 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 I didn't even eat my Wheaties. Yeah, like, I thought maybe the key, is it like taped back here at all? That's just odd. Every other one had the key attached except for this mama, mama jamma. Oh well, we'll never know. Um, all right. These are all empty, I believe. It is cold in here. Where do you want to start? Was this empty? Oh, another blanket. Spring made. Wrap this around me. Alrighty. This is a, I think this is, is this, oh, it's like one of those dolls that has the lip. Oh. I may as well look at it here. This is a nice blanket. This will be too heavy to take down, so another nice one. Can you have too many blankets? Probably not. So, now we've moved on to looking at the shoes. I, if I haven't said it before, the boxes don't match up what is inside. So, you know, an Adidas box is not going to have Adidas shoes in there, which isn't a big deal. It's just going to be a surprise at the flea market when they go to look. <laughs> Let me move. Hmm. Let me move this clothing back so I'm not constantly butting up against plaster. Is this a work shirt? No. There we go. So yeah, we're um... Some shoes just won't sell at the flea market. Uh, 
like some high heels. So we're trying to find more of the ones that will so these might. myself I can wear these around home Ooh, they fit a seven and a half to eight and a half perfect these are made in Maine they're acorn slipper socks these are coming home with me oh these look really fun oh these are nice too wow faded glory These are Beverly Hills polo, but they are not. They are dancing. Get your dance on. These are marked as Jaguars. Oh, nope. Boots. Let me see. Um, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, the heel. No. I found those for myself. They're, they're, it's called acorn. They're made in Maine. They're like the house, like slipper socks. They're so fun. He doesn't think they're fun. Uh, it's when you get older when you start appreciating things like fun slippers. Ooh, what are these? Oh, wow. Man, those are nice too. These are Esprit. I say Esprit. Are they a spirit? A spree. Those are great. I might never have to buy slippers again. Ooh. Enzo Ang Angiolini. These are fun. These look like very retro. Hmm, I wonder if I should save them for myself. I might. They sound fancy. Oh, what are these? Sunset? Made in USA. Oh, these are nice too. <laughs> He's not going to have any, uh, any shoes for the flea market because I'm going to claim them all. No. I wouldn't do that. And some more. Oh my gosh. These are still on the original package. These are vintage deer foam washable slippers. Cuddle your feet in comfort. And it has like a little squirrel there. Those are adorable. These are nice. Mootsies Tootsies. And they're in a station wagon box, which is not what they are. Chadwick's. It is windy out. I can hear the wind. High heel. Rockport. Those are a pretty good brand. too. Like, look at those things. They sound a little crunchy though. They're called Sporto AC. Uh-uh. You hear that? That's not good. It's a shame because they're pretty cool. Look at these. These are so 80s. Walk around the mall with those. It's Friday night at the mall found this vintage cat bag, which actually would probably be good for the flea market. Oh, this is pretty nice. Earth tones. Nature you can wear. Where is it made? Uh, Columbia. Columbus, Ohio. I don't know. Is this good for the flea market? It is pretty big. You might actually just be able to sell the bag alone. 
we'll put that aside. We'll grab another bag. That will not hold shoes. Ooh, what are these? Look how nice these are. Made in the Republic of Taiwan. Those aren't gonna fit too many, but they're some nice bags. Duffel bag. Soft touch. Those are gonna fit shoes. Betty Bright. Oh, it's a cleaning company. I like Betty Bright. Fun store. Look at those babies. Darts. Liz Flex by Liz Claymore. Another great red pair. Get out another bag. Oh my gosh, look at these babies. Those are awesome. I wonder if I can fit them. I'm not really wearing them now. I do like them. Made in USA. These would be fun for the clean market. I just don't know. We'll let him sell them. Whoever thought you could have so much fun digging through someone's shoes. So, snow squalls at the end of March. Who would have thought? I've just helped Taco Stacks unload the van from this load at the house. The family is going to be having some of their family come in and pick what they want from some of the rooms that we um, did not have access to. So once that has transpired, then we will go back to the house, pick from there, and then you know make additional plans as to the contents that remain you know sometimes clean outs I find things that I love you know going through a drawer and finding vintage stickers or vintage books to me that is fun to many others it is probably so unexciting you know they want the gold they want the silver they want the thousand dollar thing that has been hiding in a drawer somewhere and that's not always the case and that is perfectly okay because I am fine with finding vintage books or a vintage toy or shoes that I can wear. Um, you know, it's the little things, the little things. But it was still fun. Taco Stacks is more than well equipped for the flea market. And I have some flea market items of my own pile back there that I have to sort and see what I'm going to be doing with, with them. But um, now I'm going to go grocery shopping. 
because of this weather, it has inspired me to make some chili. So we got to get the ingredients for that. Get home, get into my nice, warm, comfy clothes and get to work from researching, sorting, editing videos because my editor is on permanent vacation, AKA I don't have one. It is me. <laughs> um, so yeah, that needs to be done too. But I want to thank you all for joining us on this pick slash somewhat clean out adventure. Stay tuned for more upcoming episodes here at Paper and Moose. You never know what is going to happen. It's going to get busy, I think, pretty soon. The weather is going to turn. Flea market season is either almost upon us or upon us whenever I put this video out. So stay tuned for lots of great adventures, lots of fun, and hopefully lots of treasure. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you all next time. Mm -hmm.